Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to use Cheat Engine to modify the game's code. So if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you've probably noticed that I've been showing the game's code and the addresses and how it changes during the data fights. So you're able to do this on the PC version of this game, and one of the main advantages of using Cheat Engine is that you're able to set specific values of the addresses in the game's code. And what's convenient about that is that it makes it a lot easier to practice RNG manipulation for the level 1 Dataworks speedrun. So in this video, I'm just going to walk through on how to set Cheat Engine up and like what values you need to modify for each of the fights. So hopefully that this is simple to understand and I'll also be posting information in the video's description, so make sure you look at that. So to get started, Obviously you need to download Cheat Engine, and you can see here that I have version 7.4. So what you need to do is you need to click File, Open Process, and then you should see a window that will have Kingdom Hearts in that list. Make sure you select Kingdom Hearts and you should see Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So next, what we have to do is we need to add the values that we want to modify. Sorry, not the values, but the addresses we need to um, modify and to do that you need to click this add address manually box so this window should open and there are two addresses that we're interested in modifying this attack address and this position address I don't know what the official names are but this is what I dubbed them but to add both of them all you have to do is just copy and paste this text paste it to this address box, and then I'm just going to rename this description to attack address just so it's easy to understand what's going on. So we have that added, and next we have to add the second value, or the second address, and I'm just going to copy and paste that into the address box, and I'm going to rename this position address, if I can type. Alright, so now we have both of those added. So just to briefly explain what these addresses are, the attack address determines like you know the type of attacks that bosses will do and what patterns they'll do. And the position address, um, it determines the locations where bosses appear for certain attacks. For level 1 Dataworks RNG manipulation, the position address only really matters for Data Zemnus and I think that's it. But for all the other fights, um, or all the fights, they all are impacted by the attack address. So, what you can see here is that I have this value, and then I have this 1 and 0. So, this, sh this shows that the attack address value is 1, and the position address value is 0. So, if you've noticed, that actually matches the values for one of our fights, for um, data.org. So this matches the data axle values, and that totally makes sense because these are the values you get when you do a hard reset. So if you want to practice other fights within the manipulation, you can actually modify the value you see here currently just by double clicking the number. So I have the attack address value highlighted and it's asking me what do I want to change this value to. So say if I want to practice Data Zemnus, all I have to do is copy and paste this value I have here and then replace it with it. And that value that used to be 1 is now this value. And then I just do the same thing for position address, change it to 5. So as you can see here, these values now match what I need to have to practice Zemnus 1. So as you can see, this makes it a lot, a lot easier to practice RNG manipulation just because you can swiftly change the values. And this is very huge because back in the day when we were playing on PS4, for example, we didn't have the capability of doing this. And if we wanted to practice RNG manipulation, we had to hard reset the game every single time we wanted to practice RNG manipulation. But now we have the technology and we can just easily change these values. So just to sh show that this works, I'm going to practice one of the fights. So let's see. Let me get things set up. So say we want to practice Data Luxord, 
we'll do that. So let me head over to the Garden of the Assemblage. And I'm going to actually spawn Heartless here, and you can see that this is messing with the those two addresses. So we're going to practice Data Luxord. So if I want to do that, I just need to copy and paste the values for Data Luxord. So that will be that, and then the position address will be zero. So that there is perfectly set up for Data Luxord. So this will enable me to practice the quick RC strat we use in the speedrun. And if you know the quick RC strat, basically Luxord is going to be doing the minigame RC all the time. And I know the initial positions of the circles for all the minigames. So the next two minigames are going to be at 3. And the last minigame will be at 1. So one more, which this circle will be at the first slot. And we're at this HP gate for his final DM. So you can see that this is clearly going exactly how I should expect it to go. So hopefully this ends well, hopefully I don't mess up, that would be unfortunate. But this part is also manipulated, so hopefully I can get it. Alright, nice. And then that's pretty much it, we have beaten Data Luxord using RNG manipulation. And the nice thing you can see is, let me let me change this up. Oh, so let me let me get out of here. Okay. So if you notice, the values we have here for the attack and position address actually match what I should get for Data Zenus. So you could also use Cheat Engine to view if you're doing the strat correctly. So that is another advantage of this. And yeah, that's a very convenient thing to be able to do. So if I wanted to practice Data Luxor again, all I have to do is just copy this again, change it to this value, and change this to zero. And then I'm already all set to practice Data Luxor again. So that's basically it. Hopefully this is easy to understand, hopefully. Um, Anyone who is interested in learning this category is able to use this to learn the strats relatively quickly. So that's really all I had. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to put it in the comment section and I'll try my best to respond to them. But yeah, thanks for watching.